Did I receive the best gun cleaning kit ever? Watch this video and you tell me in the comments down below. If you're like me, you've collected cleaning products. You've selected a rod, you've, you've got your jags, um, your brushes and stuff like that. And they're kind of all over the place. The one thing I like here is the, um, the ultra cleaning kit from Tipton. Uh, I want to thank Tipton for sending this in for evaluation. I've been using the crap out of this thing, cleaning guns and getting ready for spring shooting. Um, it's really nice. You've got a rod here and this rod is, it weighs a lot. It's made of stainless steel and this handle is pretty stout and it does turn pretty freely. So you'll see that when you're going through your barrel with your brushes, this is actually turning with the rifling. Um, it's a great, it's a great rod. It's actually my favorite rod now. Um, I've retired a couple of rods. Um, I've actually bent a few rods. Uh, I haven't been able to bend this thing. It, it's, it's, pretty, it's pretty amazing. Um, you'll also see in here that they have their rapid and I thought this was going to be a gimmick. I, I didn't really understand um, what this thing was about. And, you know, I, I was playing with it. And then, well, <laughs> I, I love this product now. Um, this thing is absolutely amazing. It does have some flaws, and I'm going to go through that real quick with you. Um, but let me show you how this works. So what happens is, is you take your patch and you put it in and close and it holds your patch in place there. And sorry, I'm just watching the monitor off the screen here so I can see what you're seeing. And you can see the patch right there. So what happens is, is you take these pipettes that they send and you just kind of suck up some of your, uh, your solvent and you just wet your patch here. And then what will happen is, is, and I'm not going to put the rod completely together. What happens is you push your rod in and then it captures that patch and then takes it right into the rapid and then eventually into your barrel. So that way you can keep your hands clean. You don't have to, you know, do the whole bottle dunk thing where you put the patch on kind of dunk real quick and then you're you're putting on your jag and stuff like that um, so it keeps your hands clean and keeps all the solvent and the oils off your hands so it's really nice and what happens is, is if you have a bolt action this is like well the actual handle of your bolt and you can kind of click it into your your bolt now if you have an AR they give you an AR adapter here and let me Grab that. So you can see here, here's the AR adapter. You'll put it in. And then what will happen is, is you'll slide this into the top of your AR and this will go through your ejection port towards the back of your ejection port. And then it won't pull back because that ejection port's holding it in. And this is where I say that there's a design flaw. There's another design flaw I'm going to show you. But it's not really design flaw to, per se. It's that they didn't think about people having AR tents. Now this thing fits perfectly for an AR 15, but an AR 10 has a, you know, a bigger upper. So what I'm going to show you here is I designed and printed this off my 3d printer. So I just slide this in and now it's the size of an AR 10 and it'll slide in and it won't bang around in there. I'll have a link in the description to where you can get this 3D print that I created for filling it in for an AR-10. Um, it's a real simple print. It's not, there's nothing special to it, but definitely if you have a 3D printer, go print one of those things out if you have this kit and that'll solve your AR-10 upper. Now, in this rapid, they have these tips and you know they go in and they're Kind of caliber specific and you can see this is a smaller one there's a there's a much bigger one and there are a couple of others in there that i'm not going to bore you to death with tips on these things but what they should have done is maybe told you 
which tips are for what. I mean, you kind of guess. I mean, you kind of figure it. You'll figure it out eventually. But it would have been nice if they had had some writing on the tips to tell you that, you know, this goes from this caliber to this caliber. The other thing, it's with this rapid. Now, you can pull this thing off the back, and there's two sides to it. And you'll see there's um, a chiseled out area, and you can see right here. Um, I'm going to push this back on. So that way, this kind of sets a little deeper. Now, what I found is, and this is for the smaller calibers, is when it's set this way. But here's, here's the problem I ran into. So you put your patch into the rapid. And then I was having problems. Now, I don't have a jag on here, so I'm just kind of doing this a little freehand. But you can see it's pushing in, pushing in, and it's tight. And then right there, I actually pushed right through my patch. So this is kind of a problem for me because I kept on going through uh, patches. But what I did is I just set it for the larger caliber. I flipped it back around and put a patch in here. It's kind of hard doing this freehand, but so I put the patch in there and you'll see it kind of tightens up, but there it is. It, it kind of, it, the patch went free. So I always just have it set for the larger calibers. Uh, that's something I don't know how many people are having this problem or if it's a problem because I'm using cotton patches. I always use cotton patches. I don't use synthetic. Maybe that's not a problem with synthetics. Um, I'll have to get some, some synthetics patches to give that a try and see how it goes. But um, yeah, other than that, it's, it's pretty cool. Now let's go back to this case now that I've got everything kind of torn apart. Uh, let me put some things back together. So there's my rod and there's my extensions. And here's my rapid right here. Now, the one thing with the rapid is, is that you can see, I'll go there. There is a longer tube right here. So you can see that's much longer. So that way, if you have a longer action, you can use the longer tube to, to use your rapid instead of having to go freehand into that. And what I really like about the rapid is it also centers your, um, you know, your rod. So that way, when you're pushing through, you're not banging away on things as you go. You're going right into that barrel. In here, we have some brushes here. These are some nylon brushes, which are really good, especially these ones for your ARs, because they kind of go out, um, so you can kind of clean that chamber there where the, um, where the lugs engage. And let's see here. And that's the south side of the kit. North side of the kit, we have our jags and our brushes. Um, and then this is also where these pipettes set and just friction holds them in and I have no problems with them staying in the case. So in here you have your brushes and jags and you go from 17 all the way out to 45. Now the problem with this kit is, is that being ultra, I think it would do everything. You can't use your 17s or your 20s because your rod is only for your larger calibers right here. Starting at your 22s, your 20s, you can see it just fits in. And even then, it's never going to fit down your barrel. So to be truly an ultra, they should have sent you with another rod. That way you can use those smaller calibers. Now, one thing it took me forever to realize, but it was annoying me so much, is they go from 17 to 45. So why is it not like... 17 to 45 or 45 to 17, you can tell, you can see they're directly opposite. So I was always reaching for, you know, I'm used to grabbing one here. So I would have thought that I would have grabbed it here. No, it's wrong. It's backwards. Totally drove me nuts. And then I realized something. You look on the back, have these little hooks here and tabs here. They go here and here. So if you, so it's, these are from another kit. They just kind of put them together. And then what happens is you can stack them. I'm not going to stack them because they get to be really hard to pull apart, but that way they're stacked. And then what happens is, is they go 
small to large, all the same way. So that way, if this thing's sitting here and you have it open, you're always going that way. So that was annoying at first until I realized that, but then I figured it out and that took care of that. Another annoying thing, and you're gonna see it right here, snap, snap features that secure the Jags may be tight on initial use. Initial use is, well, it's, it's more like almost every use. These things are hard to get out. I mean, they're in there, which is good. It's not a bad thing, but it took me a while to figure out, hey, you know, rather than keep bruising my fingers up, I just thread my rod in here a little bit and then I pop them out that way. And that makes it a lot easier to get these in and out of this case. Now, with the rod here, I know I'm going back down to the south side. There's one more thing on the north side I gotta do, is you have these two rods. So which one do you use where? And what happens is, let me see if this will focus, you'll see this little ring right here. That's what goes into the barrel. So that way, when you put your rod together, you just have that little ring there, you know that's the one that goes into the barrel. Uh, the rod is stainless steel. I love this, I love the stainless steel on this thing. It's just, it's just a heavy rod. And then the last thing in the north side of the case here is you have some nylon and brass brushes, plus some plastic picks here. So that way you can clean some of the crevices in the gun. Uh, it's really good that they're plastic, so that way you don't go in and damage the inside of your gun by scratching it and then eventually having rust. Um, but that is the Ultra Cleaning Kit. I love this kit. Um, I've been using I've been using it a lot. Um, I'm getting ready for spring shooting, cleaning all the guns, and um, it's great. And I really do love this rod. I know I've said that a few times, but I just can't say it enough. But to call this an Ultra, uh, no, they, they probably could have come up with a better name um, because Ultra, I would have thought it'd do everything. Doesn't quite do everything, does most things. Thanks for watching. Hope you're staying safe out there and look forward to seeing you again soon.